So today we're going to talk about how to rig your running line, your backing, your skagit head, your smooth, any of the of them all the same way. You want to put them on the reel the same way they come off the spool, and we'll show you that today. Um, that helps with line twists. If you go the other way, you're going to create tons of line twists right off the bat, and it could be a brand new spool of, of let's say, say our new oval line. And if you put it on backwards, it's instantly going to create issues with you. And if you, so it's really important to put it on the proper way. So what we have here, we have our double surgeon loop, super easy. Same thing here to our backing. You're going to loop these together, go through one, pull your spool through the other one. And then the key on this is when you pull this together is to make sure it all evens out. If it tucks up like this, you even this spool out and you're just going to work your way through it. You don't want it to overlap. You don't want it to fold long on one side. So I'm going to get it like this. I'm just going to work my way through. And this is what forms your square knot right here. So you have one off of each side. Pinch your mono because your mono is stiffer and pull it tight. That's a proper lock. If it's folded over, say the backing's folded over on itself or the mono's folded over on itself, you want to correct that and, and make your loop loop to loop. So when you go to back it off, it'll back off just like that. So once you've got your square knot, your loop to loops together, you're going to start reeling this on. The key to this is this right here. You want, if it's coming off this spool off the bottom, you want to go on this spool off the bottom. You don't want it to be like this. You don't want it to be reversed. This creates line twist and vice versa. If you had the reel this way and you had it this way, this creates line twist. So you always want to make sure it comes off the same way it goes on. So when you reel this on with this side, it's coming off. It basically, it looks exactly like you're putting it back on the spool. So you can wind this either way like this, but that's the key right there. It has to be off the bottom. If it's coming off the bottom of the reel, it's, it's a must. It'll, same with the commando smooth, same with your floating lines from if you're dry fly fishing or anything, you never want to, you never want to take your fly line and spool it this way. It's always the same direction as the reel. So the other thing you never want to do with this, with monofilament, with your commando smooths, your regular lines, especially if you're by yourself, you can stick a pencil in this, you can hold it with your feet, you can get a buddy to hold it, but it has to come off this way. The worst way you can possibly do it is to lay this down flat like this and then reel it on this way, because you instantly, the way it comes off that way, it's gonna instantly build twist. Look at that, I only made two revolutions and you have line twist. That's how bad it is. You never lay it flat, it always has to come back the same way it started.